Oh man, it is a windy. Look at it trying to hover. <laughs> Let's get you out of there now. Seriously though, how unreal are these colors right now? I, I don't even think I have to grade this. On my little LCD, it already looks graded. I mean, it's all about the location. You get the good lighting and good location. Oh, the shot's gonna come out beautiful no matter what you're shooting on. Now I wanna tell you guys about this vlog tripod that I'm using right now. Now PGY Tech sent it to me a few weeks back. I've been using it nonstop since and I am in love with this thing. There's a lot of features to actually go over. Yeah, there's a lot of features to go over on a vlog tripod. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. One of the first features that I love about this tripod is the fact that I can point the microphone in a different direction. So let's say I go and film Carrie. My voice gets a little bit buried, right? But I can go ahead, turn the microphone around and look at that. You get my audio crystal clear. That's gonna be awesome if you wanna, you know, get this kind of shot where you're showing something. Carrie, say something. I bet you there's very little difference because you talk so loud. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but you talk kind of quietly, so I'm gonna turn the mic towards you and talk again. Hello. Now this is what it looks like. It's just a hot shoe right here, but I can go ahead and rotate it back and forth like that. You can also attach other stuff on here, but I love just having the mic here. Hi, Peter, do you like camping? She loves traveling. Yeah, she does. She this one, maybe not so much. Now, the reason why I'm overly excited about something as simple as a little vlog tripod is because this setup right here is something I pretty much use every single day. So even a minor improvement in performance makes a big difference in the long run. Not to mention this tripod is probably the cheapest thing on here, much cheaper than the lens, the camera, the microphone. And when I'm picking out a vlog tripod, I want it to do five things really well. Number one is a good vlog and walk setup. Just like this, I wanna be able to just walk around not be tied down to a tripod like this. We can come hang out over here, do whatever. A lot of times I want to be able to catch that spontaneity and the easiest way to do that is just have a good grip on the camera. Now, number two, I need it to be a decent tripod. So of course I can plant it down on the table or wherever. Number three, I want to also be able to hook it onto different surfaces. Maybe you wanna hook it onto a tree or a fence. This can actually do that. So we'll show you how that works in a bit. Now the bendy tripods were pretty good at that but what the venue tripods weren't good at is number four which is i want smooth operation i don't want to finesse with it and fiddle with it. And the bendy tripods, I kind of stopped using those about two years ago. Over time, those joints get kind of loose and if you don't perfectly balance your camera, it might topple over over time. I want my tripod to be easy to store. I don't want it to get in the way. I want it to be quick to set up. And finally, number five is versatility. I want to use this in as many different ways I can. Now let's go ahead and start off by talking about why I love this thing for handheld mode. First of all, the grip right here is very comfortable, more comfortable than any of the other tripods I've used in the past. It's not bumpy, it's not sharp, it's not hard. It's also very lightweight. Now, if you look at this big button right here, so if you wanna make a quick adjustment to your grip, you just press it with your thumb and look how quickly and easily it can adjust. Now, there's different stages where it kind of pops into place so you can kind of hear it. Sometimes I bend it all the way down like this and I actually use this almost like a top handle. Now, the camera's upside down, but that's easy to flip in post. Sure, you can get one of those top handles that you put onto your hot shoe, but I personally don't trust those. Those hot shoes are designed for attachments of accessories like a flash or whatever, but if you're holding the whole camera's weight on it and it flings off, you might have a real sad day. But I love this, check it out, boom instant top handle. Now, if there's one thing I could change about it is I wish this hot shoe rotated with the camera because right now you'll see that it actually rotates with the handle. I kind of wish that it rotated with the camera. So if I turn the camera up, the microphone would also turn up, but whatever, it's pretty minor. And also I think it's designed to mount other things on here, not necessarily a mic, but I love just having this mic on a swivel. This is awesome. Now I'm vlogging on a 16 mil. So if I go to arm's length like this, then I get a decently wide enough shot but let's say I had something like a Sony ZV-1 where your widest is a 24 mil. You might need to push this camera back a little bit further. So this is kind of cool. So I can go ahead, rotate this, loosen it up, and there's a safety lever right here, and I can just slide off this whole head. Now there's this little button underneath the big one which you could press it, and it actually splits the tripod into two. And we could even go wider, but this thing's in the way right now. So we'll go ahead and press the big button and the little one at the same time and see how much it extends. It's like a boomerang. Yo, 
<laughs> on the big leg, there's this little flap that you can remove and there's a slot where you can go ahead and slide this into. You hear that click and check it out. Look how much more reach we have now. Oh, this is still 16 mil, but let's say your camera goes to a 24. You can still get a frame about this wide, even on a 24. And to return it, you just go ahead and loosen it. Everything has a safety on it. So even if you loosen it, you have to press this release and then it'll come out. And same with up here, there is a safety which is now in, and then we go ahead, tighten it, and there we go. It takes less than 10 seconds to switch between those modes, and check it out, we're back in the regular mode now. A lot of times I'll be hiking with a bag, and I just have a hook, and I'll just hook into here. I don't think this is an official recommendation from PGY Tech, but I like it, because I could be hands off in case I need to climb something on a hike, and then let's say a chipmunk pops out, and I want to get a really cool shot of it, I just bam! We're staying here for the night. Oh, wow. That view. <gasps> and the audio quality is gonna sound so good because I got the mic pointing at me. <laughs> this is insane. Now, this might be a good chance for me to show you my second favorite feature of this tripod. Chicky, where are you going? Get out of there. Might be some weird things under there. But check it out, with this setup, I can easily hook you up up here, but that's a little bit high, so why don't we go down here? So I'm gonna go ahead, hook you guys up. There we go, and let me go ahead and adjust the position. Perfect, just like that. You just have to kind of know what to look for. For example, this tree, I can use this and this, and I'm just gonna go ahead, hook it on. Easy. How about something like this, the back of a rocking chair? Well, check this out. You guys are now hooked in and pretty safely on there too. See, the chair is still rocking. You guys are pretty secure on there, right? By now you're probably wondering, how is this thing designed? Let me show you. We open up the tripod legs and inside the big leg right here, it's just a little hook. That's all it is. Very simple, but I think this is why they call it the mantis pod. Just this little hook opens up a lot of opportunities. All you gotta do is throw this hook onto something and then the other two kind of support it into place to make it stable. And then you can go ahead and adjust the ball head to whatever angle you're trying to get. When I hooked it onto the tree, the branches were a little bit further apart. And remember, you can split these legs a little bit. So then what I did is I hooked this on the big branch and rested these two legs on the smaller branch. Fit just fine. You still have control over the camera angle. I bet I could even hook it onto this door handle. If you start looking around for spots that you can hook it up to, it's really surprising how many places you can actually hook this thing up. And once it's on there, you can go ahead and adjust the camera to whatever angle you want. Now, this tripod itself is rated for 2.5 kilograms. Just to put it into perspective, this vlog setup right here is about 1.5 kilograms. And my Canon C70 setup is right under that 2.5 kilogram weight limit. And I think that weight limit is most likely for this hook right here but the tripod itself it's super lightweight which made me think oh it's some cheap plastic and it might break easily but a lot of it actually is made out of magnesium which is pretty cool because the airy signature primes made out of magnesium and it's super lightweight and super strong so i did a little bit of testing to see how strong these legs actually are and it actually held obviously it's not designed to hold it in different positions but the legs were fine and then we decided to push it a little bit further and we put our own weights on it and again no problem i was pretty surprised at how strong this is now the version i've been using is the pro mode which gives you this ball head which is nice and it also gives you a full 90 degree portrait mode but there is also a less expensive option and this is also a little bit smaller and lighter as well but this is still going to give you that rotational movement and it locks into place with this little button so that's pretty nice and you also just attach the camera with this little screw. But there definitely is limitation on camera movement, which is why I'm definitely going for the pro mode, but you could always swap out these heads because it is on that cold shoe system. And also now I keep an Arca Swiss plate on most of my camera. So I like that I could just snap that in. This is the snap lock system is what they're calling it, but it just snaps in, which is really convenient. And once you want to lock it into place, you just turn that lever and it's nice and securely in there. Now this is a standard tripod mode, but I like the option of being able to go into this low mode in case you need a little bit of that extra stability and also a lower angle. And this thing still has one more trick up its sleeve. So this is where the hook is right above that. 
is a phone mount. Come on, how well thought out is this? So you can go ahead, open it up, and you could either attach this with the Arca Swiss mount, which locks in right there. And once you attach it, it doesn't collapse on itself because there's this little pin that gets pressed down. And also we have a quarter inch down there as well as a hot shoe up here. Now you guys probably understand why I'm so excited about this thing. It's so well thought out, it's so versatile, and sometimes you don't want to use your main camera for a quick shot. You just want to throw your phone on there, set it on a self timer, and also a huge shout out to PGY Tech for letting me be the first person to be able to announce it. That's pretty cool. I've never been the first to announce a product before, so that's cool. Link's down there in the description. And PGY Tech is a company that I've been familiar with. A lot of you have probably never heard of them unless you were looking for accessories for drones or they make backpacks. But I really started to take an interest in PGY Tech when I saw their DJI Osmo Actions Cage. Again, it's another thing that was really simple, but it worked really well. The design was clean and it gave me all the functions I really wanted. So even though they may be one of the smaller companies, the, the stuff they're doing I'm digging it. So after my trip to Utah, I can pretty comfortably say this is gonna be my new daily driver tripod. Sam's also been using it over in Hawaii, so let's see what he thinks. Mahalo, Gene, from Honolulu, Hawaii, where I'm not ready to tell you my thoughts on the PG White Tech vlog tripod because Crystal does not let me borrow it, according to her, and I quote, You can't use this. You're clumsy, and you're gonna lose this. Here, some snacks for you and Eric. No, leave me alone. But what I can tell you is how much she loves it. She loves that it's light. She also likes how good it feels in the hands, and she loves that little cold shoe adapter where she switches from her to the subject, and it's easy for her to do that. Now, if you're still not convinced, there's one more feature I wanna show you guys. Even the base plate that comes with the tripod has something special that I've never seen before. Now, tell me if this sounds familiar. You have to attach the base plate of the tripod onto a camera, and oh crap, you can't find the tool. Whatever, you're just gonna try to hand tighten it. Well, first of all, this is uh, the Peak Design dual plate, and I actually like this plate because it attaches to Arcus West as well as certain Manfrotto mounts. But anyways, you can't really hand tighten this, and you don't have time to go and find the tool. You just need to attach it, hand tighten with this, and it's gonna come out in a split second. Ooh, but look at this one from Joby. What's nice about this is you can flip that little ring out, and it gives you a little bit of extra leverage for you to grab onto. So I'm gonna go ahead hand tighten this as tight as I can. Ugh. You go in and attach it, and that's a little bit better, but all it takes is a little erp, and uh-oh, you know, once it's loose, there's no fixing. You gotta take it off, take that little flap thing, tighten it again, Ugh. and then it's just too easy for it to get loose, and every time it gets loose, you have to take it back off, right? Okay, check this out. PGY text plate doesn't necessarily have a fancy flip-up thing, but if you look closely, you can kind of tell that there's knurling on there, so it actually grips a lot better. So I can actually finger tighten this decently, right? So let's go ahead and attach it. Let's lock it in, and not bad, right? Look, it's holding its weight, but uh-oh, loosened it, now it's loose right? But wait a second, even if I loosen it, give it a couple rotations in the unscrewing direction, check it out. It's still just as tight as it was when we first applied it. PGY Tech even went as far as to install what they're calling a thrust needle roller bearing, whatever that means. But when you loosen this by just turning the plate, notice that the screw stays just as tight. So when you accidentally crank it in a direction, it's not going to loosen the plate. You actually have to go in and turn that screw in order to get it out, which is brilliant. It's such a little thing, but I'm sure we've all felt that frustration of like, oh, let's just try to tighten the tripod as hard as we can, and then, oops, you cranked it off. Every other tripod I've tested, see, now it's loose. Let's try this one. On there pretty good, but once you crank it, oh, now it's too late, now it's just, doesn't do anything. Literally every single plate I've tested this with, it does that except for the PGY Tech. But anyways, the camera's blinking at me because the battery's about to die in two minutes, so I better wrap this up. Let's go ahead and cut to a close that has been sent to us from one of you guys, of course. And this one's a interesting one sent to us from the bathtub. <laughs> oh, Sam, I meant the other bathtub clip. Oh, hi there. Wasn't that just a great video? Potato just is such an amazing, an incredible person. And you're not subscribing? What a shame. Please like, share and subscribe. And goodbye.